What should art be? Art can be utilized in so many ways and is incredibly valuable in making political statements or inverting perceptions and norms. But this is not the only thing art should be. I think we often overlook the simple power of art to create joy and intrigue. We often overanalyze contemporary artworks, diving into every layer and detail of meaning and intent. We get bogged down in the narrative behind the work instead of sometimes simply appreciating the work itself. Art is and always has been a means of visual communication, and sometimes I feel that conceptual artwork neglect the visual aspect of art that is so powerful. <clears throat> of course, the narrative and intention is incredibly important and cannot be ignored. However, the aesthetic response to a work cannot be outweighed. In this chaotic time, I think it has become even more apparent how much we all miss certain joyful distractions from the reality of the world, and art can be that. Art has an incredible ability to affect the viewer's emotions. Art can make you smile, laugh, cry, feel joy. All of these things art can accomplish, and there is value simply in that. Every individual gets their own experience from an artwork, and that experience does not have to be deep or perspective altering. Art can simply just be enjoyed. I think this is what art should be. Some examples of artists that I particularly enjoyed from class who I feel can embody this sentiment are Jasper Johns, Andy Warhol, and Daniel Buren. Jasper Johns made pop art works as well as abstract paintings. He utilized symbols and icons to create works with impact that were not so abstract as to completely hide the meaning, but enough to be engaging and aesthetically pleasing. Much of his work is very colorful and bold. Through this, he conveys a narrative as well as creates a beautifully captivating piece of artwork. Andy Warhol is another example of an artist using symbols and icons to convey messages simply and directly. Warhol uses common images and brands to do this, and obviously his work has been enjoyed by many. His work is notable for its unique approach and appropriation of modern culture. But also his work is simply pleasing and satisfying to look at, even humorous at times. It's not serious, or if it is, it doesn't present itself in that tone. It is fun, bold, and once again, engaging. Lastly, one of my favorite artists we discussed in class was Daniel Byrne. His work, is tr his work truly embodies what I've attempted to articulate about the power of the visual experience. His work does not seem to say anything in particular or make any political statement. His work does not make you want to stand there quietly and stare at a wall. His work is vibrant and incredibly engaging. Even the simple application of colored stripes to canvases instills a fun, quirky mood within the viewer. Furthermore, the way he creates immersive spaces to be within blurs the line between the art and the world that we occupy, which is incredibly inspiring. Two of my current favorite artists are Jim Drain and Katie Stout. Jim Drain is a multimedia artist who creates all kinds of artwork from incredible sculptures with found objects to murals and basketball courts and outrageous lawn chairs. His work is first and foremost joyful, which is why I'm so drawn to it. Similarly, Katie Stout's work is outrageous and fun but she also makes important statements within her work. The goofy female lamp she creates promote female empowerment and the beauty of imperfection. She so elegantly incorporates meaning and intention into her art and design, and objects that people can live with or incorporate into their own lives. So in conclusion, I believe art should be enjoyable. It shouldn't be a labor-intensive exercise to uncover the message. It should be captivating. It should be engaging. It should be for everyone. Art shouldn't be limited to galleries or mansions. Art should be everywhere, in our homes, in our city walls, 
where the art resides, shouldn't determine its worth. Reproduction doesn't have to equal devaluation. Art is powerful, and we should not limit its power.